Tom, have you finished your homework yet? Yeah, everything's so easy here. Have you finished yours? No, I hate homework. All I want to do is eat, sleep, and play video games. Bill, there's more to life than video games and sleeping all day. Why, how is there more to life than that? Give me one example. Girls, Bill. Girls. Ah, you're right. We haven't met any cute girls yet to come hang out with us. Yeah, you're right. I think we should go to the dining hall and try to meet some girls. Yeah, I bet you there's some fine chicks over there. Alright, let's get going. Hey, Billy, you see those girls over there? Don't, don't look! Don't look! Yeah, they look pretty cool. What about them? Oh, it's in my anthropology class. I kind of like her. She's pretty good looking. Yeah, she's pretty sweet. I don't know. What do you think we should do? We'll talk about it. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, we should. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, ladies. Hi. What's going on? Not much. How are y'all? Good. Good. No, good. There's some funky looking chairs. <laughs> so you're in my anthropology class, aren't you? Oh no, the teacher's terrible. I know, I hate it. She has to do all this dumb work. <laughs> the lectures are so boring. I know. So, so glad I don't have Me too. <laughs> what classes are you taking? Um, agriculture, um, crop science, and that's it for this year. <laughs> wow. I'm Tom. Uh, I'm Bill. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you all. Thank you. But I'm Bailey. That's me. <laughs> what do you guys up to? Just, just hanging out. Just hanging out at her dorm, you know, just doing her thing. I'm going to uh, do it. You guys want to possibly come over sometime and hang out? Yes. Sure. Nice. We'll have a good old time. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll be over at 9. So, let's take our number and Awesome. Bill, they're here. Oh man, I'm so excited. Hey, come on in. Hey. What's going on, y'all? Not much. How are y'all? We're doing good. We're doing good. Just hanging out. Yeah. So, come up to my room. Follow me this way. Hey, how are y'all? Hey, come on in. 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 Y'all just come on in. Oh my god. Um, is it clean? Yeah, they're, they're, they're clean. I mean, just, I just haven't had time to fold them. <laughs> so many clothes. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I guess you can take a seat somewhere. Um, where? Uh, there's a seat right there. <laughs> See next to Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Just sit on down. It ain't that messy. Yeah. Oh my god, if these clothes were dirty, we would definitely have to leave. You guys have to learn how to fold clothes. It's not that hard. Yeah, it is. It takes forever. Well, nobody likes it, but it has to be done. Yeah, true. Well, that's why I'm going to make something so that you never have to fold clothes again. That is not possible. It so is. I'm Maybe an engineer. Not? I can do it. Tom's all about his facts and empirical evidence. After all, he is an empiricist when it comes to logical things like this. easier. They will be so impressed with you and that's the only way we can get them to keep coming over. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's why I've been working on this new machine that folds clothes automatically. 
but we won't have to worry about this problem. Oh my gosh, who knew it could be so serious? I know, they're just clothes. It's not like they're going to hurt them or anything. If only I could find the time and money to invent it. Tom's grandfather transferred his tacit knowledge to Tom by showing him the inner workings of the complex laundry machine. Tom had his grandfather's expertise, which created a firm foundation to expand upon, eventually leading to Tom's breakthrough. Tom spends the next few months researching and developing his technology. He talks to his dad about his plan to make the automatic laundry folder, and Tom's dad agrees to fund his research. Bill! Bill, I did it! I did it! I finally invented it! You what? invented what? The automatic laundry folder! You serious? Yeah. Now we can get those girls! Check it out. That's pretty cool, man! Yeah. <laughs> Put your clothes through here. Sucks it up. Well, bam! Done. That's some amazing technology you got it there, man. It is pretty cool. Now what are you going to do? Go get the babes. <laughs> Come in. OMG, Tom, what did you do? What have you done? Look, I finally made it. It's the automatic laundry folder. Oh my god, you did it. Yeah. Does it work? Yeah. I, I tried it out thousands of times. My clothes can't hold it. Put it in the dryer. And it holds your clothes automatically. Wow, Tom, I don't believe you did it. Yeah. I would show you, but all my clothes are all folded, so. <laughs> wow, I'm so proud of you, Tom. Thanks. <laughs> That's what I do. I'm an engineer. Hello? Hello, Tom. This is Steve from General Electric. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm doing just well. I heard about your automatic laundry folder. You did? How? It's all over Facebook, Twitter, Vine, it's everywhere. It's the new hit thing. This is what we call a life-oriented technology, also known as polytechnics. It helps humans with their everyday needs, and this technology certainly will. I thought it was a great idea. I just wanted to prove my friend that I could make something to solve my laundry problem. Who knew you guys would, would hear about it? <laughs> well, we have, and we think it is a great idea. We want to sell it to all the world so everyone can benefit from it. We might have to use the diffusion model to sell it to the public, but that's the easy part. You've done all the hard work and complex work now. We just have to make it simple for everyone to understand. Wow, really? I'll have to think about that. I don't know if that's the best idea. Well, you think about it and give me a call in the next week. Alrighty, we will do. Okay, I'll see you later. Alright, bye-bye. Wow. Who knew G would want to buy my automatic laundry folder? I could sell it to them and make bad money. Or, I could keep it and not let any, anyone have it. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Do you ever feel like there isn't enough time in the day to get things done? Need to free up some time? Well then diffuse the situation by buying our new automated laundry folder to do better things than spend it folding clothes. How dare you sell an automatic laundry folder to GE without talking to me first? You're not an actor in this network. You had nothing to do with the creation, and I thought it would be cool for everyone to re reap the benefits of the automatic laundry folder. And who wouldn't want some extra money? It's the ethical norms of science for the creator to gain recognition for their idea and share with every 
everyone. That's why it's called communism, Bill. You share your knowledge with everyone and gain recognition for it in return. So you sold them the automatic laundry folder? They gave you money for it and you never even mentioned it to me. You don't think I deserve any of that money? That seems like secrecy to me, which is an unethical norm of science. You didn't do anything, Bill. Why would I give you anything? You're the contingent friend here, always doubting me. You in emphasize the inconsistencies and the fallibility of my work. I thought we were friends, Tom. I would have never imagined you create something big, make some money, and forget all about the friendship that we had before. Tom the scientist, the creator of the automatic laundry folder. Don't act like that, Bill. You've always been there for me, but this was a decision I had to make on my own. How dare you, Tom? What'd I do? You know exactly what you did. Uh, yeah, I sold it because I wanted everyone to benefit from it instead of doing laundry so they could do other things. Did I make a mistake somewhere? Yes, you forgot to mention me in all this. I was the one who gave you the idea in the first place. If without me, none of this would ever happen. I am so disappointed in you, Tom. But Megan! Megan! Uh, why is everyone so mad at me? All I wanted to do was create something to solve everyone's problems. Where'd I go wrong? <sighs> Maybe my rhetoric skills suck. I can't seem to persuade anyone. Hey, Tom. Hey. How's it going? Uh, yeah, sure. How are you? Tom had a cumulative advantage when it came to his new technology. Tom came from a rich family, grew up by his grandfather's side who invented and built many laundry machines, and went to a good college. One could say he gained a small advantage over others, which was compounded over a long period of time, and it eventually became a larger advantage that contributed to his success. Hey, I'm good. Let's go! Stars out, we bring the women and the cars and the cars out. Let's have a total celebration, get a glass out.